no conservative is. It's not racist for anyone, ethnic minority or otherwise, to want to control our borders. It's not bigoted to say that we have too many asylum seekers who are abusing the system. It's not xenophobic to say that mass and rapid migration places pressure on housing, public services, and community relations. I reject the left's argument that it is hypocritical for someone from an ethnic minority to tell these truths. My parents came here through legal and controlled migration. They spoke the language. They threw themselves into the community. They embraced British values. When they arrived, they signed up to be part of our shared project because the United Kingdom meant something distinct. Integration was part of the quid pro quo. Now, that didn't mean abandoning their heritage, but it did mean adopting British identity an ident identity of which we should all be proud. This is the best place on earth to come and live in, but I fear, I fear that we are losing sight of the core values and the culture that made it so. The unexamined drive towards multiculturalism as an end in itself combined with the corrosive aspects of identity politics, has led us astray. I saw this when I went to Leicester recently, a melting pot of cultures and a beacon of religious harmony. But even there, riots and civil disorder have taken place because of failures to integrate large numbers of newcomers. Such conflict has no place in the UK. Or when we look at the Prevent Scheme, we see how cultural tensions within communities are not being handled well enough. The murderer of our much-missed dear friend, Sir David Amos, had been referred to prevent, but it couldn't stop him. We cannot, as a people, be cowed into fear by vocal minorities who attempt to undermine our common sense instincts. And as Home Secretary, I will make sure that prevent is fit for purpose. The law-abiding majority deserve nothing less.